Fritz Hone, John C. Lund, Daniel Thorndike, to rest in honor, for over them will bend the arching sky, as it did in great love when they pitched their tents or lay down weary and footsore by the way or on the battlefield for an hour's sleep. As, one then, as was then and still is in the hands of the Heavenly Father, let us also then remember those honored dead who did not return to hearth and home, but lie in resting places known but to God. Above their rest there is no sound of weeping, only the voice of songbirds thrill the air. Unknown their graves, yet they are in God's keeping. They are nuns missing from his tender care. He knows each hollowed mound and at his pleasure marshals the sentinels of earth and sky. O'er the repo their repose, kind nature heaps her treasure, fanned by soft winds which round them gently sigh. Bravely they laid up there all upon the altar, counting as not the sacrifice of pain. Theirs but to do and to die without a falter, ours to enjoy the victory in the game. They are not lost, that only which was mortal, lies neath the turf or arch the southern skies. Deathless they wait beyond the heavenly portal, in that fair land where valor never dies. In the great heart of coming generations, their fame shall live, their glory never cease, even when it comes to all our troubled nations. God's perfect gift of universal peace. He that loses his life for my sake shall find it. of dedication is ended. In the name of the Sons of Union Veterans of the Civil War, I thank you for your courtesy in permitting us, who are bound by special ties to them, to honor our dead. Thank you.